Dubai, the desert city. Lots of sand, lots of sun, lots of money. In fact, more money than cents, which is why they've decided to build a golf course. The rub is, there's no soil, no water, and temperatures reach almost 50 degrees Celsius. So, how do they do it? There are few things in life as dispiriting as seeing your golf ball drop into a bunker. That annoying sand pit lying just short of the green. But now imagine a golf course which is one giant sand bunker. It's a golfer's worst nightmare. And yet, that's what they've got in Dubai. The site of a new 1,000 hectare multi-billion dollar golf complex. Turning desert into a lush golf course is a bit like trying to grow cabbages on the moon. The job falls to Matt Dobson. It'd be nearly impossible to build a golf course of this quality uh, without the efficiency of the new technology. On a normal course, you'd add the sand once everything else was in place. Here, the best you can do is push it about a bit. And you need more than a bucket and spade when you're handling these quantities. Sand is a lot easier to shape than soil, but even these golfers' sandcastles can be wrecked in seconds by a sudden sandstorm. So the undulating contours are kept constantly drenched to stop the whole golf course blowing away. But the man behind the entire project, Bob Knott, knows no self-respecting golfer would be happy with just sand dunes to play on. Golf, apart from maybe crown green bowls, is the finest playing surface in the world. For the course here to attract world-class players, they need playing surfaces as smooth as pool tables. And that means perfect manicured turf. Normal golfing turf wouldn't last two minutes in Dubai's searing summer heat. So instead, the Dubai courses will be made up of a combination of three specialist grasses, each of them bred to grow in drier, hotter conditions. The next problem is planting. Simply scattering seed over the sand dunes won't work. The answer is this green gunk, which is called hydroseed. It's a mix of fertilizer, mulch, and a variety of grass known as centipede. It works fine, but it costs over $5,000 to cover an acre. The beauty of it is I don't need to use as much water with the mulch and the hydroseeding because of its water retention. It will retain more moisture content through these hot summer days. Hydroseeding is a quick and efficient way to seed the sand dunes. And within six to 12 days, these bright green areas will be covered in centipede grass. But this kind of grass is too coarse to provide the perfect playing surface. So two different varieties of another grass, Bermuda grass, are used for the fairways and greens. So the general areas we use are Tiffway 419 for our fairways and outer roughs. And the greens we use a finer grass that we can cut to use a faster playing surface is a grass called Tiff Eagle, also a Bermuda. The trouble is, the green gunk approach won't work for Bermuda grass because it doesn't grow from seed. So instead, small sprigs are propagated and then scattered by hand across the landscaped dunes. Dropping blades of grass on sand isn't as crazy as it sounds. In other parts of the world, sand is actually imported to create a level growing surface for the greens. To make turf smooth, it must be thick. Your lawn at home has about 20,000 blades of grass per square meter. But on a golf course, they need three times that amount. Of course, as any gardener knows, as soon as the grass starts sprouting, it needs lots of water. But if there's one thing deserts are famous for, it's not having any water. Currently, we're using about 2.9 million gallons of water a day. So where does all this water magically spring from? The engineers here have managed to conjure up 100 million litres of water every week from Dubai's sewage system. Water is extracted from the sewers, cleaned and stored in two enormous 80 million litre lakes. But unless they can get it onto the course, the irrigation lakes are just a colossal water hazard. To keep the turf wetter than an otter's pocket, the golf complex has built its own pumping stations, with six 100 horsepower pumps capable of moving more than 25,000 litres of water per minute. 
A peek beneath the turf reveals an intricate network of 90 kilometers of pipework. On a normal golf course, there are pipes to drain excess water away from the fairways. Here, they do the opposite. Thanks to the pumps and pipes, every blade of grass, shrub and tree on the 160-acre site gets just the right amount of water at just the right time. And to make sure, 150 sensors constantly monitor the moisture content of the course's greens and fairways. As soon as they start to feel a bit thirsty, the pumping stations and 4,000 sprinklers snap into action. So the next time you're staggering through the desert and you see a mirage up ahead, no, you're not dreaming. It's an 18-hole golf course with a very nice clubhouse. If only you were a member.